I don't think I should touch on his medical expertise, but he has been a great friend for Sri Lanka cricket, and he always preferred to stay behind the screen. Once, when I had a really bad in, uh, wrist injury occurred in Melbourne, the first thing we did, call Dr. Siri. And when we landed in uh, Brisbane, we had to play a test match in three days. So he said, Kolla, don't worry. I'll get you to I said, what about fielding? He said, don't worry, I'll be here for all five days. I know for sure that he sacrificed his practice. He was committed for most of the Sri Lankans. And he was there all five days, ready with hydrocots on injections. <laughs> and that's the time we never had publicity, we never had money, we never had friends. We had a lot of Sri Lankan friends, but it was a tough time. I'm sure a lot of people know here, Dr. Siri used to keep some of the cricketers at his home. He used to feed them, train them, and give them medical advice. Muralidharan, Chamindavas, Aravinda Di Silva, Tilakaratna, you name, they were in and out of that house. It was a home away from home for all of us. And especially when I saw the three daughters, three pretty daughters first, I thought he will end up as one of the cricketing father-in-laws. <laughs> but luckily, those girls were more intelligent than the cricketers. <laughs> and once again, I'm here as part of Sri Lankan cricketers, not cricket, as pa for part of Sri Lanka cricketers. I, I thought it's my duty to come here and say a couple of words on Dr. Siri. Dr. Siri, thank you very much for what you have done for Sri Lanka cricketers. Personally, me, luckily I'm not playing cricket, otherwise I will end up in getting a jab before I go back to Colombo tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, I would like to thank Chanak once again for inviting me.